Hey everyone, Dana Leslie back for another Disney dining review. Today we are headed to La Hacienda de San Angel. I'm pretty excited. I am, I have always been completely confused of the food situation in Mexico <laughs> because they have two table service restaurants. One is San Angel Inn, which is inside the pyramid. It is next to the water on the Three Caballeros ride. And they also have a table service uh, restaurant across the promenade. So it's like next to World Showcase Lagoon. It looks out there. We've eaten here before, but it was like a decade ago. I don't even remember. And I don't know what the difference is. We've eaten at San I don't Angel. even remember eating here before. It was, it, it was one of those times that we were doing the deluxe dining plan it was like okay let's go burn another <laughs> table service credit yeah like i don't know what the difference is why would you book one over the other we haven't reviewed either yet i we've eaten at san angel in a couple of times yeah um, um in recent years so i kind of have an idea what they do over there but what, 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 what do we got here all right well i mean so it's showing that there's just dinner over like they don't have lunch and dinner at la hacienda as of right now at least so our reservations at 3 15. Well, so I guess that's considered dinner. Okay. Um, but they've got, you know, typical starters. You've got your guac, your queso, your queso fundido, um, you know, tostadas, uh, uh, like a Mexican salad. Um, but then you also have some house specials that include like an oso uh, an osobuco, um, a, a fish, or like a market fresh catch of the day. Those are a little bit pricier. And then the entrees are anywhere from like a polo poblano to tacos to chili relleno. Um, you know, there's lots of stuff. I, I'm excited. I like Mexican food. We have a really fantastic Mexican food place just right around the corner from a house. Yes. So we don't normally get Mexican food in Mexico. We usually just get either chips and Margaritas. dips. Margaritas or margaritas or both. They That's the other thing. do have a very nice list of margaritas. It's similar to the the margaritas that are offered over at La Cava. Uh, so- We both have our- Yes, we do. <laughs> Mexico La Cava shirts on, so. Yes. There was one on the list that was different to me. So I, oh. yeah, I, I think, I think what it was different. It? It's called the wild one. Um, it is, okay, let's see, hold on, let me find it. You said wild one and sister came running. Mm, that's, she is a wild one. It's, okay, it's called the wild one. It's a uh, tequila, a mango passion fruit puree, ancho verde chili liqueur, lime juice, corn whiskey, and ginger with a black ant salt rim. Have you heard of that before? Uh, I am no. not as big of a fan of frozen margaritas as I am. Oh, it's frozen? Well, I don't know because it's got the mango passion fruit, fruit puree, so I don't know but they do have a La Hacienda smoked old fashioned. $28. $28. I mean, I feel like I have to get it, but wow, that's a pricey old fashioned. Yes. I, I kind of wonder how the, um, how the ingredients compares to the old fashioned that you like so much at La Cava. Oh my gosh. So this thing has, it's aged in house. You got a bourbon, a mezcal, the Ancho Reyes chili liqueur. I don't know what that liqueur Nixta is. Nixta Elote liqueur. And chocolate bitters. That might be fabulous. <laughs> it better be for $28. That's yeah. crazy. Okay, well, there's only one way to find out and we are about to be late. So are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's do this. Okay. So we have made it to La Hacienda de San Angel. We each ordered a beverage. What'd you get over there? So I ended up getting the wild one. This is the one that I talked about before that has the passion fruit um, um, puree in there. And I was worried that it was frozen, but it's not, so I'm excited. Okay, that's really nice. It's got like a great mix of like sweet with salty and a little bit of spice to it. It's not too spicy at all. 
but I like it. It's got a nice blend of flavors. I, of course, got the La Hacienda Old Fashioned. It came with a fantastic presentation. Like, really the did. glass was being smoked as she brought it on the tray. One large, giant ice cube, it crystal has, clear ice. It has their name in there or something. Does it? I yeah, missed it that. Did. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, let's give this thing a taste. It is $28, so it's a little bit pricey. How about the tulip? That'll be real good, right? What is the um, not my favorite. It is, but there's mezcal in there. Um, the one at La Cava is better. Okay. And then we also got two appetizers, actually. We got the um, guacamole with mango, which looks pretty tasty. And then also a um, queso, cheese queso yeah. dip. So, like, yeah, so it was like the chips with salsa and queso, so. Should we try? Yeah. Mm. Jennings is with us as well. <laughs> we'll get his thoughts in a moment. Actually, a pretty good guacamole. Uh -huh. Very, very tasty. Yeah. One of the things that I love about the queso, not the queso fundido, that is different, but just the regular love. queso. Love I just love how creamy it is. Mm. All right, the food has arrived, and this is crazy. So we got the, I don't really even remember good. how to say that, but it's basically the um, seafood fajitas for okay. two. Feeds two people. We've got a sweet street corn, we've got vegetables, and then we have shrimp, mahi, and uh, scallops on here. And then they come with little street uh, corn tortilla things, so. That appear to be, like, probably made in house, I think. Looks fantastic. It does look fantastic. I'm gonna try a scallop first. All right, I'll try the fish. Mmm, that is really good. Mm. Okay, oh, I'm excited. So I did the mahi. Fantastic. It is like so well cooked. I did a little bit of the corn, which is like a sweet corn, along with the vegetables as well. Really, really, really good. So this is actually meant to be shared. It is, um, it's $72 for two. So, and it, it says it serves two. I think it legitimately, I mean, like if you came in and got like some chips and, and whatnot and some appetizers, I think it legitimately could serve three or four. The sun has come out <laughs> we're next to the water, which is a lovely view, but it's, it's very bright right here. Okay, so first of all, the seafood fajitas were fantastic. Amazing. So good. So, good. so Jennings came specifically to get dessert. Look at this thing. It's called a dark chocolate taco. It's got blueberries, it's got brownies, there's a taco with ice cream in it with some, I think, mango pieces on top and and out, ice cream on the outside, like. I mean, shall we try this? this? Huge. Mm. That's fantastic. A little brownie with a little ice cream here. I like that it comes with some blueberries, so you feel like you're being a little bit healthy. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm very good. We're gonna dive into this. <laughs> We're gonna finish this up at home. Um. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it was really, really good. All right, we are back, and it is warm in Epcot. Whew. It is warm. Before we get into that, if you are looking to plan your next magical vacation, please reach out to us over at Fantastical Vacations. We plan Disney destinations, Universal Cruise Lines, and all-inclusive resorts. All right, so let's get <laughs> into La Hacienda de San Angel. And, and Angel? 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 I don't know. Um, it is actually surprisingly really quite nice. It was lovely. I was pleasantly surprised. There was no one in there. I think they had just opened. They must yeah. just open at three for dinner. Yeah. Um, there was, I think maybe one other table set when we got in there, but by the time we left about four, four, 45 or so, um, there were quite a few other tables yeah. in there. So, um, it was, it was wonderful. I mean, we had a great view of the water and I, it just, it was, it was nice. It was very lovely. I think that it would be a really incredible place to watch the fireworks. If you could especially snag one of those window seats, uh, during fireworks time. I also think that the more it gets filled up, the, um, ambiance might take a little bit mm. of a hit. Like I, I think it probably could get quite loud in there, but yeah, a lot of like hard surfaces, tile floors, yeah. hard, like no tablecloths, even the 
chairs and the bank cats were, were not like uh, super absorbent for sound. So it could it could get loud yeah. for sure. But whenever we were there, it was it was quite wonderful. Because we were the only ones there. <laughs> because we were the only ones there. So, uh, and you know, it has like, um, a little bit of a Mexican feel in places with the with the different uh, decor and you know that it has restrooms painted above where the door where you go to the restrooms and then baños you know so like it, the theming was nice as well. So for ambiance and theming, we gave it a four. It wasn't like over the top, but you did have very nice water views. I imagine if you're eating there during the spectacular, then that would be very nice. Um, Cause you could see right out all over oh, World yeah. Showcase Lagoon. So um, I think a four is, is right. Yep, so service. Our server was just lovely. She was, she was great. wonderful. She gave some excellent suggestions. She checked on us frequently. She. Um, she knew the things about the different dishes that we got that maybe maybe she's heard complaints about in the past or or heard um, reservations about because she pointed them out you know beware of the red pepper in the corn because it is quite spicy so if you get that then it's going to be pretty warm and if you don't like heat then maybe avoid that so yeah, she you know, was, just stuff like that she was on top of filling up waters cleaning plates like multiple times we got the chips and dips for the appetizer and then we had the oh she brought us more corn tortillas mm -hmm. because you know with Jenny we ran out fairly quickly yeah. um, and then it was you know like just very very quick service just really she was obviously lovely the entire time just awesome like yeah. so we gave her a four and a half yeah she was great so drinks so we're a little mixed on these um, my margarita that I got the wild one it was really good um, I would say it was probably a, on its own I would give it like a four um, Dan's drink, however. I would give my old fashioned on its own, like a two and a half. Like it was, the presentation was great. I mean, they brought it out. She, our lovely waitress brought it out and it had, you know, it, the glass was upside down on top of like a smoldering, some sort of wood. It was smoking the inside of the glass and there was one large ice cube. And then it had, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I showed it on here. So that was lovely, but the flavor of the old fashioned just wasn't, it wasn't there. Like yeah. it wasn't balanced. It was just mainly just alcohol and I didn't get any sweetness. I didn't get the chocolate from the bitters. Um, I, I expected some sort of spice from the Ancho Reyes and I didn't get that either. It just wasn't. It almost it wasn't tasted there. a little watered down whenever I tried it. Like it was um, like everything was muted. I mean, I mean, the I mean, the ice is supposed to kind of mellow out the harshness of the um, of the spirit, but it's got to be a balanced old fashioned. Yeah. Otherwise, you just you might as well just get bourbon on the rocks or mezcal yeah. on the rocks or something. So, um, yeah, mine was uh, below average. Definitely not making my top five, which is ironic because right across the way, the La Cava old, old fashioned is one of my top five currently. Yeah. It was amazing. I got, had two of them over there and they were both fantastic. This one didn't hold a candle to that one. That's unfortunate because it was twenty eight dollars. So it was yeah. very overpriced wasn't cheap. Um, and not it wasn't worth half of that, let alone twenty eight dollars. So, yeah. Um, oh, and then we did um, because my old fashioned was not the best. Uh, we ended up sharing a third margarita. Uh, it was the La Hacienda margarita. This was twenty four dollars. So still I think pricey. It was called the San Angel. San Angel margarita. Yeah, I think so. It was their it was their specialty margarita because it comes out in a shaker on ice. Um, it, it, it actually tasted really really. It was nice. good. Yeah. I mean, it was probably more like a four and a half star margarita. So we kind of took all of those drinks into consideration and decided we landed on three and a half for drinks. Yeah, I think that's right. And and honestly. I just want to get the old fashioned here because yeah. the two margaritas were great and they had a whole page of margaritas. Just get an old, just get a margarita. Yeah. Um, I, the only reason I got the old fashioned, well, one, because I'm on a quest, uh, <laughs> but two, the La Cava old fashioned was really good. And I was expecting this to be that and it just wasn't. Okay, food. So like this was really, <laughs> really good food like it was, it was I mean good. it wasn't the best food we've ever had sure but for like center of Epcot Mexican cuisine um, everything was above average and then everything was above average so like the guacamole not the best guacamole but the but it was above average the queso not the best queso but above average you know what I mean so everything solidly above average yeah it was in the um, seafood like fajita dish that we got that says it serves to definitely could serve more than two uh -huh. and 
it was fantastic. Like it was delicious. The fish was cooked so well. I mean, I've had fish dishes that the fish was the star and it was not cooked that well. I agree with you. So the shrimp, the fish, and the scallops were all cooked very well. My one disappointment here, and I'm not sure if it was because we already had the dips out there, but it didn't come with any sauce. Mm. We made it work because we already had the salsa, guacamole, and the queso from our appetizer sitting there. But I, I wouldn't have liked it as much if I couldn't like put something on that taco other than the vegetables and the fish. See, it's funny. I never used any of the dips on mine. I used it for all of it. And, and I still loved them. Like I thought they tasted great. There was some kind of sauce drizzled over the corn that seemed to like make everything kind of like wet, you know, like it was kind of a sauce in the taco. So that's kind of just what I used. Um, and then the dessert. So I, I, so we walked in and Jennings had eaten lunch before we went. So we're like, well, just come and you can eat some chips and queso and hang we out. We were like, just hang out with us. So there was a little, a, a table tent. So one of those little advertising things. So one half was an entree of, so I don't even remember what it was, but the other half was this chocolate taco. Chocolate trio. It was trio. a tomahawk steak because I thought that was kind of weird. Oh, that was the other side. Yeah. But this, it was a chocolate trio, I think. No, it was a dark chocolate taco. Dark chocolate taco. That's what it was called. I thought I remember trio. Anyway, um, it was ginormous. It was $35. I did not see the price <laughs> whenever we ordered this thing. I was thinking, because the picture, it looked just like a little chocolate taco with like some chocolate ice cream in it. I did. And that's why whenever I pointed it out, I was like, Jennings wants that. And you were like, okay. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I did not know what we were ordering. So it comes out, this thing was a dessert for at least four people. <laughs> at least. There were probably six brownies under this thing. The taco itself yeah. was bigger than my head. Four scoops of ice cream, like caramel all over the ice cream and brownies. It was huge. Blueberries everywhere. It was huge. We didn't finish half of it. No. Um, it was very good though. Like I'm the brownies not were. Eat for the whole rest of the night. I know. I'm the, so full. The brownies were good though. The like brownies it was were very tasty. good. I loved that it came with some blueberries and then on top of like the chocolate mousse was like some diced up um, mangoes. So you at least felt like you were attempting to be a little bit healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so all in all, I say none of the food was just like, I'm not gonna be dreaming about, but also everything was solidly above average. We gave food a four. Yeah. So if you add all of that up and divide it out, it comes out to be a four, which I mean, I think it deserves that. It's It was definitely an above average restaurant and, um, and I think a really good option for Epcot. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised actually. I, yeah. I We haven't been here in a decade and I wasn't expecting a ton, but uh, it's way better than some of the other table service restaurants that a lot of people try to get. Yeah. Um, looking at you, Coral Reef, I'm just saying. Space 220. Uh, yeah, way better. <laughs> it I would hands down choose this over Space 220 for sure. Yeah, absolutely. If you are liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video. Getting a little growly yeah, over there. I know, I moved my arm.